part two of getting started. I left off where I'm talking about the walls and these arrows. So basically when I drew the walls, they were in clockwise rotation. I started here and I went to the right, down, left, and then back up. If I went the other way, what's going to happen is these arrows are going to be on the inside like that. And what that means is my exterior wall is on the inside of the house. So if you happen to draw your house the wrong way, it's really easy to change it so that the wall is on the outs the exterior is on the outside by clicking these arrows, it moves the exterior face to the outside of the house. So just make sure when you draw your house, you draw it in uh, clockwise rotation. The other way you could have drawn your house is by went into wall and grab the wall that I want to draw. I can come up here and use these tools. I can draw a square, I can draw the polygon, I can draw the circle, uh, arcs, and all that kind of stuff. So I could have drawn a house by going here, clicking down, and basically I think I could have went 24. No, you can't, you can't type in. So if I just click down, now I'd have to come back and I would have to use the dimension tool. You can grab the dimension tool right here, or you can go into architecture, actually annotate. And you can grab the aligned right here. I kind of like having that shortcut up here because I just use that a lot. And I want to dimension to the wall faces. And I'm going to do an individual reference. So I'm just going to click the outside edge, outside edge, and there's my dimension. I'm going to click the outside edge, outside edge, and there's my dimension. Okay, now I, it, I want it 24. So what you have to do is if I want to bring this wall in, okay, I want to select that wall, okay, and I'm going to come over here, scroll in, and I'm going to type, click on the 22, I'm just going to hit 24, enter. And now that wall is 24, whoops. 24, make sure you click on the right dimension. There you go, 24. And if I want to move this wall in, I click here and click on that, type 24, enter. And now I have, whoops, didn't do it again. You gotta make sure you click on the right dimension. There you go, so 24 by 24. These squares are identical. There's two ways to draw them. Um, I'm just gonna keep the first one that I draw, highlight all, delete. But I do need to go in and dimension the outside edge. Outside edge, outside edge, 24. And dimension the outside edge. You gotta click down once you wanna place it. So I click, click, and then click a third time to place it down. I can go in and hit escape twice, and now I'm out of dimension. I can drag these in a little bit closer. And I have my 24 by 24 square. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw another wall. I'm going to draw an interior wall. So I'm going to go up here to the architectural tab. I'm going to go to wall. I don't want to get an interior wall this time. I'm going to scroll down to the interior walls and I'm just going to get a 4 and 7 8 partition wall. Now the key to this is going from wall center line because I'm going to draw a wall right down the middle of this. So I don't want to do face. I want to do center line because I want it down the middle. So if I hover over this wall, once I get to the middle, it throws a triangle in there. That's the midpoint. So if I just click and drag down, now I have a wall right in the middle of this square, which is really nice. I'm going to draw two more walls going this way. I'm going to come down here and draw a wall going this way. It doesn't have to be in the middle. I'm going to click on here. I'm going to click here also. Alright, so now I have uh, some walls. I want to make these walls even. So the way you do that is you're going to select a line. You want to select the align dimension and you're going to dimension. Okay, um, let's go to wall face. But I want to go to the center line on these walls. So I want to zoom in and you can you can grab the center line by clicking there. I want to keep going. I'm going to grab the center line on this wall. And I'm going to grab the exterior on this wall. And now I have 
I'm gonna click that down out there for now. Hit escape twice. And technically, whoops, I want to drag this farther out. Your biggest dimension should be on the outside. Smallest, smaller dimensions are in the inside. Um, now what I want to do is I'm going to click this dimension. And if you see this EQ, if you hit that EQ, it'll make all of these sections right here equal. So if I hit EQ, now every single section is equal. Okay, I can go in. It, it's hard to get these numbers back though. So what I do is I go in and I hit delete. Just say unconstrained. What it's saying is you had a constraint put on these. Just do an unconstrained. Go back and just redimension it real quick. Click there and redimension. You gotta zoom in so you can get the center line. And I don't need all of the uh, dimensions. I just grab two of them because it should say the dimension of this. I can take these two and subtract it from this and it'll give me that last dimension. Okay, so I have my three rooms dimensioned. Okay, you can also um, You can also do a dimension the, uh, this other way, which you're going to go in and click the dimension tool. And instead of doing wall faces, well, keep the wall faces. Instead of individual reference, I want to do the entire wall. So when I click entire wall, if I come over here and I select, oh, I want this wall. But first, I got to go into options. I want uh, openings. That would be like a door or a window or just a hole in the wall. Uh, intersecting walls, I want that. And then grids, intersecting grids would be, uh, I think like your ceilings and stuff, if you had grids on the uh, ceilings. Um, I don't have any doors in here, but I'm gonna say openings anyways. I'm gonna say okay. Now, when I click this wall, it's gonna dimension these uh, walls right here. So I click it once, I click it out here, I click down, Actually, I want to change. I want to see if I can grab the center lines. See, when you do center lines, it grabs just the center of every single wall. Well, I don't want the center of, see how this wall, it's different. I want to grab in this, this little grip, They're, these are called grips, grab the little circle and drag it out to the edge, and now it's moves that dimension to the outside edge. The same thing here. I want to move this one. Grab this grip and it's not going to let me move that grip. All right. So that's the pro there are some little glitches when you do things like that, okay? If I want to edit this dimension, I can come in and click it. I can do edit witness lines. And now I can come in here and you can see blue these lines that are blue, that's where this extension line is dimensioning to. If I click off of that, see how this disappeared? I can click off of them or I can click them on. When you're done, you just come up here and click into the open space and it sets that dimension. So now I've edited the witness lines is what they call that. I'm just going to go ahead and delete these because I don't need them. I have them right here. That's a little bit about dimensioning in Revit.